Wow, so uh, yeah, welcome to this game. We've got 750 ELO, low ELO legends, and they're experienced players too. Uh, in the blue, we have Kubelos. Kubelos is playing as the Bohemians, a relatively new Civ. I didn't see how frequently Kubelos has played with the Civ, but if I had to guess, at 750 ELO, he's been giving it a go this week. In the red, playing as the Huns, still not taking sheep, there you go, is, uh, I wanted to say Michael. But I'm not sure if that's Michael at all. It might be like Mikal or something. And uh, Mikal playing as the Hunt has 500 games. So we've got like 500 games for red. We've got three-ish hundred for blue. So these are experienced Lowy the Legends. It's not like these guys just walked in to play ranked this week. And their ELO is still being figured out. You play a couple hundred ranked games. You might not learn a lot. But we definitely know where you belong if you played that many. Blue, are you auto-scouting already? Oh my god. The clearest example, and I'm not saying this is bad, but the clearest example that Blue just likes to play how he or she wants to play. Now guys, I talk about Auto Scout a lot. Auto Scout is something they added last year. You select your scout, you can click it, and it automatically scouts the map for you. It will always start with the right corner though, and I always suggest you, you know, maybe find all your resources first and scout the map a little bit manually before ticking on auto. So a lot of people are like, well, well, how is this guy still at this ELO after that many games? Guess what? It's because these players don't want to improve. They did not wake up today and say, I want to improve at Age of Empires. Nope. They said, I want to play Age of Empires. And I'll auto scout right away, because why not? And I will also take a boar long distance and not create villagers for an entire minute because I don't have food underneath my TC. And so that is the game we have here. And these are the games that I love because it's actually really fun because these guys probably do interesting, unique things that... Okay, okay, Red, seriously, create bills. I thought we were going to wait until he finished the boar. There we go, finally. Um, yeah, they do interesting and unique things. And they're very far from perfect, which is what Loey the Legends is all about. Hmm. Uh, someone said, how do I make a page with without my real name? Is there a guide anywhere? Yeah, if you go to t90official.tv, it's a website I created. It kind of shows you how to do that there, Thomas. Anyways, the start looks much better for Blue. Uh, Auto Scout, of course, hasn't hurt Blue too much because Blue did see the berries, did see the boar. And I think, actually, he took it off of auto-scout temporarily because he it didn't completely scout the corner. So it looks like he started to manually control it. Boar gets brought in underneath the TC. This is, of course, a lot more efficient, a lot less walking time. A little unfortunate to miss out on these cows here. What do we think about the map here, guys? We've got uh, three golds on the back for both players. No shortage of gold there. And then it's a bit of a gold rush situation in the middle. We've got stone and gold here, too. Both players have a crossing. I feel like there was a tournament map that was similar to this, and I forget if it was in Empire Wars or regular. Does anyone remember it? I think that the players' bases were up on hills, though, and they had to go, like, down the hill, across some water. I don't think it was in the main event of Red Bull Wall, though, 4 or 5, but I think it was in the earlier stages. Shoot. Saw a lot of, like, Vikings. I don't know. Anyways, I'll shut up now. I do remember a tournament map which was similar to this. This, of course, is Mega Random, so it's just... There's, like, 300 or 400 generations within Mega Random that you can get. You never know which one you're going to get. Water would normally be really important. There's fish out there, so you could get food that way. But also, you can control the water to stop the opponent from crossing to the middle. You also could range so much from the water. I, you can imagine this being ranged, this all being ranged later. At this elo, though, I don't think water is going to be a factor at all. Uh, typically, players of this elo are not docking in Dark Age because they don't make lumber camps in Dark Age. And we have a lumber camp for Red, actually, but then he sends all those villagers over to take the deer. But both players thinking about that, and I love how both players are using mills as they're designed. Is you drop a mill... So you can take deer and other resources. It, of course, could apply to berries as well. But I like that. I feel like too many players 
even at mid elo try and push in their deer with their scout and sometimes it's just not even worth it sometimes it's better to just invest 100 wood into a mill and do this so you can scout or in this case stand there I'm very confused about blue scouting, if you haven't picked up on that. He clicked auto scout right away. He pulled it off of auto scout, put it back on auto scout, and now there's no auto scout. <laughs> so I I don't know. I think this is auto scout for red, though. Yeah, you see how it went to the corner first? But I think what red did was he manually scouted his base, and then he auto scouted. So I think that's the best way to do it. Hmm. All right. Well... Blue will be the first in Feudal. I should mention the bonuses of the sieves. Bohemians get the mining upgrades for free in Feudal and in Castle. They have cheaper blacksmiths. Their pikes are going to be incredible in this matchup. They do additional bonus damage. They're even better against the Hun Horsemen. Chemistry is available in Castle Age, cheap monasteries. It's really Castle Age where Bohemians feel strong. But I like the Hun flexibility of not having to make houses. And you save all that wood, so he's got a mill here, he's got a mill here, he's got a mill here. Oh, it's amazing. And you could maybe argue that sending six vills over here to take a deer is a bit much. But it's whatever. It's not the end of the world. I do that all the time. I do not want to feel like I need to lean on auto scout. But I soon realize I don't have the APM to manage both my economy and scout. Yeah, and I think that's what it comes down to, right? I, I think... The problem comes in where, so yes, they're probably auto-scouting because they can't manage their economy and their scout. But it depends on how you want to play the game. If you want to improve, you're never going to get better at mul the multitasking there if you never do it, right? So it depends on your outlook. If you're not really interested in improving, and these players may or may not be, I don't really know them, then, you know, just... I would suggest just finding your stuff first before auto-scouting. I remember I pushed back heavily against Auto Scout. Um, I really was not a fan of that. I remember there's a MBL quote. Why don't we just auto play as well? You know, he got really upset, as he often does. But no, I mean, I think it's a good thing for the game. I think it's a really good thing for the game. And plus, it's not like the scout is scouting all the crucial resources of the enemy. It scouts the right corner first regardless. So it's like kind of a... It's not the best scout ever, let's put it that way. Okay. Here comes the three villagers from Kubalos. And he does know the enemy's over here. And he also knows there's a crossing. Will he wall this? Will he wall this? Or is it a tower rush, actually? Wait a second, he's on stone... He's also adding a dock. It could be stone walls, too. There's a lot of options here. He's probably looking for the gate. He doesn't have a hotkey for the gate or the stone wall. So he clicked it. He's looking at the bottom left. He's like, where is it? There. <laughs> Called it. Hey, if it makes you feel any better, Baloo, I don't have a, a hotkey for a stone gate either. I used to have a hotkey for stone gate back in the day. And then they introduced palisade gates. And I didn't want to add any additional hotkeys to my brain. So I just made that hotkey a Palisade Gate hotkey. And I never build stone gates with a hotkey. Still to this day. So, But this is a good decision. This is a really good decision on this map. And we have additional walls. Yo, this is so good. Now, you could make arguments for making these walls further forward, but... So now, in theory, if you if you wall the sides and then you control the seas, auto scouts bumping, um, then you're okay here. And look at blue. I think this is manual scouting now, because he's now going to scout this side. And look, he's sending another villager. This is so good. Sick. Yeah. So he's going to scout this side. He's going to wall up this side as well. And then red is obviously a bit more fixated on his eco. But I love how you can see the difference. Because while blue has been walling, blue hasn't been creating villagers as much, or adding farms as much, or doing all of that. And red hasn't been walling. And red has been balancing the eco, and will go up to castle age faster. It's just that red doesn't know about this, so red's completely blind to it. 
Now, what's really fun in this situation, guys, and trust me, if you want people to get salty with you at mid to low elo, this is the strat. Full wall, sneakville. Oh, man. We used to call it China style, and it was so common. So a lot of people don't realize there's been five wall nerfs in the last two years on DE. And even before that, there were additional wall changes. So back in 2016, man, we're talking like 300, 350 ping games. And we used to call it China style because all the Chinese players would go for full wall. And then they'd sneak a villain to like the side of your base or back of your base and run in with army. So you think they're just booming behind there. And it was so, so tough. And it's a pretty classic thing for Yo and Tim. Yo and Tim are two high level Chinese players who did that. But anyways, uh, that's that's something that you could do here if you're blue. So you finish the gate, and then you just send a vill to the corner and just save it there for later. I'm being told blue just lost a villager to a wolf. Yeah, I, I see there's minus one, but I don't know why. Because it's not the villagers on the sides, but I'll say woo, 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 woo. Something there, maybe? What time are we at? 19 minutes? Let's see. I think that's the body, right? Oh, no. Wait, where <laughs> Where did it die? Over here. Oh, here we go. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> okay, we'll keep fast forwarding to 19 minutes. Sorry. I can't miss a woo, 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 man. Look. He's a, ha he's a good boy. Oh, he's a good boy. Look how happy he is. I never realized how happy these wolves are. Okay, I can't even blame him. Can't even blame him. Okay. Um, so yeah, what's the plan here for red? I noticed that red to get gold to go castlage sold stuff at the market. So didn't even mine gold, which makes me think we're just going to see a boom here. Boom, meaning more town centers. Red does see this now, but I don't know if red actually saw it. The auto scout has scouted it. And blue has added some fishing ships, which I love. And also has added Navy, and it's just going to camp the middle here. We now even see a barracks, but blue, of course, much later to Castle Age. This is a really good game, so I'm going to take the time to say, YouTube, if people in my chat ever say you smell, that is just a joke, okay? Now, it might not actually be a joke. You, you might need to shower. You probably just got home from work or something. You're disgusting. But it's a joke. It's not a joke if it's true, but it's a joke. Uh, town watch now for red. And I, what I love about this is both approaches make sense. The approach of, okay, I'm far away from the enemy. I don't see any military buildings. Let's add town centers in good positions and boom on a lot of villagers. Makes sense. This is a good strategy, okay? Also, this TC spot, gorgeous. This TC spot, gorgeous. You've got wood. You've got gold. It's as good as it gets. Also, Wood upgrade. Farm upgrade. Like this economy approach from red. Garrison, but not town bell. Oh my god. People listen. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, red's playing so well. That said, red is going to need to use that economy to find a way to get to the middle at some stage. Doesn't need to be now. Doesn't need to be in 10 minutes, but maybe 20 or 30 minutes. Those fortifications are going to need to be broken. Mr. Potato says, after watching so many Loey the Legends, I feel like a pro. And I play one game and I'm back to a realistic, sad life. <laughs> it's not sad. It's just this game makes it seem like things are really easy. And it's so easy to say, oh, her, her, I would have done that. Bro, it's such a basic thing to remember. How can you not remember to do that thing amongst all the other things you're doing? You know, that's just how it goes. Okay, Scout spots the Navy and dies. So now I wonder what Red will do about that. Also, I think Blue lost another villager to a wolf somewhere. Maybe out here. Yeah, there were seven here before. Might be a good idea to research a loom if you're going to send villagers across the map, Blue. Loom is a pretty helpful upgrade there. Red is a future 1300. Let's go. It's pretty good economy. Four TCs? Wow. Honestly, for Red, his Castle Age looks amazing. It was just his Dark Age and maybe bits of his Feudal Age that needed some work. 
But all Red is focusing on is this. So he didn't do any of the fancy stuff on the sides. And then you have Gill Nets now for Blue, who's going to get Navy upgrades. Gill Nets means the fishing's faster. And I like that, but I also think that this is not a map where investing into only fish for food eco is good. Okay, now please tell me Blue's going to drop the castle right on Red's face. You have full map control, Blue. Don't place it. No! Don't place it defensive! He's got nothing! Oh, if he drops it here, guys, it punishes the boom. So, yeah, the walls were great, but just send your navy forward. Have some confidence, my friend, and just drop it on his face. Ah, oh, that would have been sick. Defensive castle obviously means he could make some stuff, so that's cool. We now have double siege workshop for red and a barracks, so red is thinking about some military and siege. 4TC, no military, has not been punished, will not be punished. And I don't know if I've seen... Well, we haven't seen a lot of 750 ELO today. I suppose a 4TC boom is doable if you're not under any pressure, right? For 750 ELO. And there's zero pressure right now, so... I think the second he starts to do other stuff, like make military and use it, or... There's a lot of alarm bells going off because of the attacks. I think that's where it gets problematic. Is, <laughs> is he really going to make mangonels for this? So I'll tell you what I would suggest you do if anyone ever does this to you. Is you send villagers to stone. You drop a castle a little ways off the shoreline. Not too close, but like right here. And then you can redock and take water. You have all this economy and then you just take water from them with all your economy. But making mangonels against ships is not something I would normally suggest. Funnily enough, though, Blue doesn't have that many ships. And he doesn't have that many upgrades. So it might actually work out here. Now we see stables now for Red. He likes to line up his military buildings. This is very SimCity-like. And so he knows all about Huns, and he knows Huns have good knights, so he maybe wants to make those. What is Blue doing right now? Getting Fervor. Where's the monastery? Okay, so Fervor applies to the Bohemian villagers too. But I think he wants to get relics. I'm not a fan of taking the relics to the middle because you might... Like, that's where Red will try and hit you. I would prefer to have the monastery at home personally, but... Is he fast imping this? Are we seeing fast imp versus 4TC boom like this is some high elo game, but it's low elo legends? Also, manganels against ships, like what? It will work, guys. It will work. It'll definitely work, unless blue micros like a god here or makes a demo. I mean, blue is microing super well. I give him credit. Okay, blue, click up to imp. If this is your plan, you have the resources. Obviously, you're microing now. I think the concern for Red is that he hasn't gone to any stone right now. This is... <laughs> this is insane. I, I was not expecting this at all. Lots of blacksmith upgrades for Red. And there goes Blue on the way to the Imperial Age. So in the Imperial Age, he can make trebs. He also could get more navy upgrades. I'd like to see that, maybe. I don't even know if Bohemians have good navy, but I know they get Bracer. Embracer would be good. He's getting Bodkin now. He's getting the University, too. I mean... If he gets enough ships, I don't think Red knows what to do. If this was Arabia, Red would have won the game already. I mean, it's game over GG, but this is not Arabia. This is Mega Random. And Blue has a very interesting approach. Hmm. Okay. Red has been stuck at 69 vils. Okay, now made some more vils. Here he comes. Now, Red saw the wall. Oh, God, this is just asking for a demo. You're crazy. The, the, the even crazier thing is this might actually work. Okay, Castle's going to take out one of them. Surely, Blue's going to react with bringing in the fire ships. Okay, Red sees this. The castle fire helps, though. This is such a dangerous spot, man. Where are the demos when you need them, man? <laughs> Demolition shifts would be amazing here. 
but a lot of the siege does go down for red. Blue just backs away, and this is the benefit of having the walls and having the water. Now we have Town Patrol on the way for additional vision for the Castle Age player, who's not on the way to the Imperial Age. Chemistry is now in. You can research chemistry in Castle Age with the Bohemian, so we'll have chemistry right around the time he hits Imp. I'd be surprised if the Civ doesn't get Galleon as well. How much of a fighter do you guys think Red is? Because if Red isn't a fighter, I think he might just get completely overwhelmed by this strategy. But I hope he's a fighter, and I hope he tries to switch the sides. I hope he... He's still making knights! I hope he goes up to Imp. I hope he expands. I hope he thinks, let's ram this down, you know? Cannon Galleon now for Blue! Guys! Blue is a freaking beast! Remember, this is mega random! This isn't Legend of I Sit where you can favorite migration and have the same map every time. This is... He, he randomed into this. This is amazing game sense from a 750 ELO player. Elite Cannon Galleon's in. So he's just gonna whittle down everything with the water control. And Red is gonna have to try and break it as Blue makes another gate just in case. And there's the Cannon Galleon now. Wow, this is this is amazing. This is amazing. I was not expecting this level of innovation here at all. I thought the walling would be there, but Kubalos. And it's not like Kubalos is is playing incredible with other aspects of the game. Like I think these three villagers have been sitting here for an hour. Red now making rams, which might have been a better shot. At the start anyways. And Red is now making skirms. <laughs> oh, God. I think for Red, Meg Random is going on the ban list after this. But again, you know, you see this here. You go to stone. You drop... Well, I mean, it's too late now to drop the castle because the Cannon Galleons can range that. But you're way back into this game we already spoke of. You get your own docks up, and you make your own navy. And specifically, if you can't, if they have all the shoreline security, you drop a castle on the shoreline. Fair play to Red, who's getting all the blacksmith upgrades. For the knights, for the skirms, and everything. And actually, skirms are not horrible against ships. They, with, with this many, I guess, they're not horrible against ships. They only do one damage a hit. But you only need 150 of them to one-shot a cannon galleon. That's it. <laughs> the ships have insane pierce armor, so... Uh, Navy is actually quite good against them. Here come the rams. What's in there? Villagers? Okay. Choo-choo! Choo-choo! Here comes the knights. The mangonel is holding the front line here. He actually gets a big bonk. Not bad. Gets another big bonk. Doesn't take out the ship, though. I mean, if red gets past here, blue's basically got nothing. It's 50 pop for blue. It's 150 for red, who's desperate to get across here. And blue's gonna drop a castle and a bombard cannon. Yeah! Yeah, had some siege behind. That's so smart. Now, monk, don't you dare open up that gate, okay? It wouldn't surprise me if red is like... Like, I remember a time where people would always diss wallers. Like, such a wallin' noob. You're not even good. You just wall. Ugh. I remember my mid-elo days where people would say that type of stuff. And, like, I, I I don't know anything about Red's character, but I could see the frustration setting in as he's got a 100 army and he just doesn't know how to break this. <laughs> it's 55 pop for blue. I don't know. And we've seen a lot of games. I don't know if we've ever seen a player that's 140 pop behind or 30 pop, whatever the math is, actually have a chance at winning. Red is so stubborn. So stubborn. He, he won't even think about ramming this down. If he rams that down and gets in with knights, it's fine. He also won't dock. He's like, I play Arabia. Me play land map. Me make land units. Known water for me. Water bad. It's a Hun player, man. No one picks Huns to play water. 
<laughs> this is actually insane. But you've got double castle now. You've got a bomber cannon here too. I don't think that Red can actually ram this down unless he has capped ram or siege ram. But I think he needs to go up to him. But he's got enough skirms where he's winning this fight. So who knows? And he's still making knights! Go up to Imp, bro! Go up to Imp! At the very least for skirm upgrades here or something. No, 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 no. Run, run back. Leave this place. The castles are, are Blue's best friend right now. Red! 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 Guys, he's about to take out a gate. He's halfway there. <laughs> Red! He's halfway there. He can't really attack all of it, though, because of the way the walls are positioned. So now he runs back. Okay. Imagine a demo. I know! Just a couple demos would be so satisfying against everything. And I knew it! Did I not call it 10 minutes ago? I called it! Man, you are so boring. I knew it. I knew this would be a moment where someone's like, meh, meh, meh. You play... This map not open. My land units don't work. Me angry. He's upset. He's upset. And let's see how blue responds. If blue responds. I hope things stay relatively nice. Go up to the Imperial Age, Red. You have no one but yourself to blame, bro. Go up to Imp. You just keep trying the same thing time and time again can't blame him it's it's a really good strat if the opponent is going to send in their 150 military right into the right into the fold i mean god what happens though i really hope red actually breaks in here the rams are so weak though what happened if red actually breaks in does he just run past it oh please it's at 100 hp oh it's down it's down here we go boys boys and girls let's go Let's go! You run even deeper into the gauntlet. And here he goes. Fortified wall was a little late for blue. And red's like, uh... I don't know what to think right now. There's two on food for blue, by the way. He does not have good eco. You can't raid someone's eco if they have no eco. Actually, you can. Red makes it through. The Skirms are also running through. No Imperial Age for him. The KD's insane for blue. And this is giving blue time to wall on this side. This is really important. This is really important, guys. Because if red were to run through, all this stuff would go down. Kubalos, you have to wall this. Also, Kubalos, with all this control you had, you could have had at least like one farm. You know, his eco is at the limit. And Red is now attacking the Monastery and is losing all of his knights. But he will stop this from happening. Uh, or sorry, he will he will stop that Relic from being in the Monastery. I mean, guys, Red's going to run out of gold. That's Red's problem. And Blue has now made another layer of walls. Which Red is going to have to go through. And Red is sending Vils through! That's not going to work! If he would have sent Vils while he sent all of his army, it might have worked. Okay, now please don't open that gate, lady. Your family and your friends depend on you. Do not open it. <gasps> oh, God, okay. Man, you are so boring, says Red. Who at this point still has gold, by the way. Still hasn't gone imp. And is now like, well, we're about to win this game against his pleb. That's probably what Red's thinking. Like, we made it through, finally. Time to win the game. <laughs> okay, now, Blue, make something, man. Make Bring your navy back or something, please. Don't let him... No. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Another barracks. The eco's so bad for Blue. There was no attempt to ever switch into anything else. Here comes the Navy now. That's going to take too long. Oh, God. 
I mean, okay, apart from the whole comment from Red, which I, I'm just happy I called, honestly. I kind of sensed it. But, but anyways, aside from that, which I think is a bit much, okay? Not everyone needs to play the game the same way you want to play. Um, Red deserves this game if he gets through this, right? Like, Blue did so much right, but also so much wrong with that position. Like, this position has been insanely strong. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second! Oh, baby! The Navy arrives, and Red will have to retreat. Red retreats. Blue holds on. But when you have that position, you, you need to have a moderately good eco, and it's the easiest game of your life. But, you know, relied on the fishing ships to get up to Imp. Wasn't focused on any farms or anything, and is just kind of stuck here now with that level of focus. We'll see. I mean, what Red needed to do a while ago was go to the sides and then run around, and that would have been fine. Also, I think Red refuses to dock. Like, you could transport, you could do so much. So they're both kind of tunnel vision in their own way. As we now have Red on the way to Imp, though he's got four tiles of gold remaining, and that's it. Now, if Blue has, like, two or three Bombard Cannons, if he's got Navy here, the Capped Rams alone will not... Excuse me. The Capped Rams alone will not be enough. So, we're basically waiting to see if Red is going to run out of gold. And if he runs out of gold, Red will not be able to win this game. Also, you could think about that. You could add a Monastery. You could get a Relic. That gives you a trickle of gold, at least. But yeah, this is this is insane. And this is an amazing game regardless. Very rarely do you see a KD like this. There has been no response from Kubalos. And also, I'm I'm I don't mean to be harsh. I'm really trying to pick up on what Kubalos is doing right now. It seems like he's <gasps> Oh, she died. Oh, he's fish trapping. Okay, that's good. Can you imagine? I mean, whatever she blue would make would get killed i guess so don't go in before capped ram man red buddy just wait just wait a minute it, it's fine don't go in before capped ram he actually could make it through though that's the funny thing because blue still has his navy here because he's worried about this army and he didn't make any more navy elsewhere even though he has the resources to do that now, if he locks that gate, as Red says, really, God, I'm really, I'm really torn on who I want to win this game right now because of Red's comments. Blue makes another gate. Yeah, really. Um, I mean, I'm saying, maybe Red's saying really because he is talking to himself right now about how he's pushing without Cap Ram. Because that's, that's a real, real issue right there for you, Red. Um... Red's trying to make the push. Blue's not really engaging in any conversations here. The gate completes, which means I believe that with the Navy coming over, the double castle, no capped ram, and the bomber cannon, Red will lose all this. The Red is, again, almost out of gold as he's now bringing over Trebs. However, if he tries to use Trebs, cannon galleons and bomber cannons could potentially range the Trebs. He's almost out of wood over here, too. He's got to go over here for wood now. I mean, we know Red's frustrated. We know Red seems a little baffled and confused. This is getting closer and closer for Blue to maybe do this. But Blue, you've got so much wood and gold. This should never be... This should never be doable for Red. Make some navy. We are reminded in the best of ways and the worst of ways why these players are 750 ELO. Red continues to just smash his face against a stone wall with before getting upgrades. And Blue struggling to make more than just a few. Uh, struggling to make any farms and struggling to make more navy. As we see Trebs actually. And there goes Red for wood. What a sick game, though. What a sick game. And and now, I think Red is about to hit a point where he really might lose his cool. Look at this. Look at this. He goes in for the bomber cannons and can't get him. And now his... Oh, his Trebs! 
and blue micros. You've got to be kidding. Oh, that's got to be so frustrating. He does get one of the cannon galleons, but now his trebs are gone. Rams hasn't worked. Trebs won't work. Blue's at 50 freaking pop here, people. Oh, he's typing up a store. Oh, yeah. Boring Defensor. That's a great name, actually. I might change my name to that. Boring Defensor. He's really not having a great time right now. Red, if you ever rewatch this, I just want you to know that I had my fair share of days where I would get get disappointed in my opponent's strategies as well. I have an every night for your defense carnival. What? Obviously, English might not be his first language. Is there such a thing as a carnival for defensiveness? Let's go, baby. What do they sell there? What type of games do they have? I'm not sure what he's talking about. But yeah, listen. Red might be having a rough day. He doesn't know this is going to go in front of tens of thousands of people. And he says, you... <laughs> Okay, what? <laughs> okay, what a great way to end the video, though. Can we talk about the final line here? You bored me to death. Before he resigns, you bored me to death. That's freaking hilarious. I mean, he didn't get too aggressive. He didn't start making fun of moms or, you know, using swear words. You bored me to death before the resign is freaking great. Oh my god, dude. What a game, though. Oh. By the way, T90, red is uh, from Slovakia and blue is from Czech Republic. They could easily talk. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad they spoke in English. But oh my word, what a game. Like, look at the resources collected there. There's so many things we can talk about, but let's start there. Resources collected. Red, you're a beast. You're a beast. You boomed up like a madman. You had so much wood, food, and gold. But you, my friend, look very much like someone who plays the same map all the time. Probably a land map, Arabia. You like open maps. You spam villagers. You spam units. Die, die, die. Attack, attack, attack. And while that's good and it does have some strategy to it, it is nothing like what you encounter on some Mega Random maps. And Kubalos here picked up on how the map was situated. And while struggling with execution economically and with so many aspects of this game, was able to win the game by scouting the map and addressing the map, which is kind of what you would want with something like Mega Random. This was very creative against a player who was clearly, I think, better with many aspects of the land aggression. And it worked. That was amazing. And all, I'm so glad that Red didn't end the game with like, bleep, bleep, bleep. You know, what the f are you doing, you wall and You know, I'm glad he didn't do that because you bored me to death and just resigning is, is pretty wholesome and hilarious. And also, it's even more satisfying that Blue didn't even say anything back. It was just like, whatever, who cares? The final KD was 245 kills for Blue, 45 deaths. Red could have still fought on here. Like, Red could have tried so much. Red was just too tunnel vision. Didn't even try with capped ram, which is an upgrade. He could research. He could get siege ram, too. It's 300 food for capped ram. It's 1,000 food for siege ram. He could have done that. And honestly, guys, if he was in here with siege rams, it's game over. He probably wins. But he wasn't patient enough. He wasn't strategic enough. Didn't push the sides either. Kuba Lewis gets the win of his life, and we were there to witness it. That was just so sick. Oh, man. I almost don't want to leave this game. Like, this is the natural time to stop the recording, head off, and do another game. But I almost don't want to stop it. I don't want to leave it, because that means it's finished. It's gone. It's behind us. I know what we'll do. Let's organize a show match. <laughs> <laughs> Mikal versus Kubelos. Best of five. Five million dollar show match. Huns versus Bohemians. No, I'm kidding. Wow, that was crazy. I wanted to check the APM because um, the APM kind of shows the, uh, the speed of the players. And it really felt to me like red was much faster. But I think what probably happened was blue was moving his military a lot more on average. And then red was probably... He moved his eco a lot more uh, on average.
but they had points where like red was all eco for a while and then military and then blue was mainly military near the end but i i don't know it's hard to say because we're looking at 50 units versus 150 units so it feels like blue is slower but he's just moving fewer stuff but that was yeah that was an extraordinary game i hope people enjoyed that one that's one of the best Loey the legend cast will have and well knock on wood hopefully you know not ever but for quite a while